Hey folks, we're back, fresh off the heels of the finale of the first ever 3-2-1 screw RIP Invitational to determine the Headlocks and Halos champion. And uh, who was that champion, Kyle? Macho Man. The Randy Macho Savage. Man Randy Savage. Ooh, yeah. Took the whole thing. Well, there was a surprise twist. Well, if, you, if, you haven't, uh, if you haven't seen that, go back and check it out. It's, you don't want to miss it. Part six, yeah, the, the finals. A champion has been crowned. I will say, Bill, I did enjoy that concept. It was. So they got me thinking. We had a lot of fun putting that together and doing the shows. What can we do next? So I thought to myself, self, what can we do next? That's scary. Self. Him talking to himself. Were you and getting answers? I do, I do it all and the time. you know what? Since we're on the road to WrestleMania, I thought, why don't I, you know, put together this this a set of rules and let's each put together our very own Mega Mania event. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kyle's gonna put together his own match Macho card. Man. Joey will put together his own match card, and I will put together mine. Mine shaping up, boys. And uh, it's gonna be on. So, with that being uh, that said, this is the introductory episode where we will explain the rules and the concept of what I call the 3 2 1 screw Mega Mania. Bum, bum, bum. So, guys, I have one question Mega Mania. When you talk to yourself, do you hear voices in your head? Um, well, yeah. There's, do I mean, they there's, talk to you? A, uh, do yeah, do they I, understand? Yeah, there's a few of us. There's a, that they talk to you. There's an English chap. Um, he's nice. He's an a nice English chap. chap. Um, yeah. Radio. Me and the little Hispanic lady don't get along as often. Uh, things. She can be fiery. <laughs> she tell you guy thing? But anyways. Anyways. All guys, right, let's, let's get serious for I mean, a moment. Listen, Man, listen. Hell. I had I had a damn good time doing the headlocks and payloads. I did, man. Championship. It was a fun. cool concept. Were, were you pleased with the ultimate outcome? Absolutely. Absolutely. To the match. Fitting that match did take end up winning the whole thing. Yeah. You know, but uh, yeah, man, it was a damn good time. It was fun. So I did. I had fun I, with it. Yeah. So I figured, yeah, what the hell? Let's keep the ball rolling. Let's come up with something new. More Let's creativity. Come something fresh. On the so break. I come up with this uh, three, two, one screw. Line, I came up with the idea. And uh, no, in all seriousness, no. Yet. But me coming up with this, however, you did get Joe Seppi's creative yeah. juices flowing, and he's got the idea for uh, a little. Uh, was it? Uh, what, what, what are you gonna call that thing? Still kicking, Still around, kicking so, around the name. But, uh, but uh, it's going to be a fantasy Royal Rumble concept. Yeah, Royal Rumble themed, correct? Yes. And so, you'll know yeah, when we got Yeah, we're, we're going to get that worked out together. But first, let's explain how the 3 2 1 screw Mega Mania is going to work. All right? Yeah. It's going to be, uh, let me put my spectacles on. So, uh, You're getting old. It's going to be a two-day event, ten matches each day. Yep. On the uh, on the card, on the main card, um, and all of the following titles will be defended: the WWE title championship, mm -hmm. the Universal Championship, the Women's Raw Championship, the Women's SmackDown Championship, the Intercontinental Title. The U.S. title, the 24-7 title, we're bringing back the European title, and we're going to defend it. We're bringing back the hardcore title, and we're going to defend it. And we're going to defend it. We're bringing the NXT cruiserweight to the, to, the, to the show. We're bringing the NXT championship, the NXT women's championship, the NXT North American championship, the NXT tag team championship. We're bringing... Back the internet championship and Kyle, what are we going to do with it? We're going to defend it. We're going to defend it. 
Chuck, the Raw Tag Team Titles, the SmackDown Tag Team Titles, the Women's Tag Team Titles. It's a lot of titles. And we're bringing back the WWE Divas title, and we're going to defend it. Listen, don't you realize we're not allowed to call it a title anymore? Screw Why? Vince McMahon. It's a championship. He can't do shit about Vince's it. his rules. You can call it a title or a championship, you can't call it a belt. Title. So we're going to defend all of these championship title belts. Can't call it a belt. I want belt. the belt. You hear me? We're going to defend all of these championship title belts. I think they heard Cover you. It. Oh, whichever one's wrong, we said it. There you so, go. Thank you those are all, every one of those titles will be defended in our two-day Mega Mania event. Plus one extra match. A non-title right. match. Right. Uh, uh, for each so, day. No. There's, yeah, there's going to be a total of 20 matches. Okay. There's 19 championships. And there's 19. There's 19 championships. 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 There's that 19 must be defended. Title matches and then one non title. Means, yes, there can right. be one non title. I already match. got mine picked. Now, each day of the event must include at least one of, but no more than three per day of the following specialty match types and the match types cannot be repeated so once you use one on one day that's it you can't use, use it on that the same match day. title type the next day that's and fair the mat the the, the 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 list of matches like i said at least two of these no more than six of these specialty matches must be included in your card, and that is a Hell in a Cell match, a Last Man Standing, a 30-minute Iron Man match, an Elimination Chamber match, a Buried Alive match, a TLC match, Inferno match, a Street Fight. It, it can be a, you know, it can be a, a back room street fight or a back alley parking lot street fight. It doesn't matter. It's just it's a street fight. It's just not to be held in the ring. We're not going to, you know, make, decorate around a ring looking, you know, like, uh, you know, you know, like a back alley. It's going to legit take place in the back alley, you know, you know what I'm saying? So, On the street. A bar fight, a boiler room match, a 10-man battle royal, a 20-man battle royal, a war game style match, a cinematic boneyard match, a cinematic house of horrors match, a pit fight, which is Timothy Thatcher's kind of deal from uh, mm -hmm. NXT there, a lion's den match, a hardcore match, a strap match, or an I quit match. So, at least two, a minimum of two of these match types must be included, one per day. But you can choose up to three. And then when all three of us, I bet you we're going to all pick three. So, triple threats, uh, fatal four ways, fatal five ways. Six uh, ways. Six male eliminations. They do not count as specialty matches. No, because it's just regular it's just, pinfall or submission. Right, exactly. I got you. Um, any wrestler from any era, from any promotion is eligible. Even ARW? Funny you should ask that, Giuseppe. Each day of the event must have a minimum of one match that includes a wrestler from our beloved local hometown indie promotion, Atomic Revolutionary Wrestling ARW. That's right. We gotta we gotta show the local love. You know That's what I'm saying? That's it. That's we it, my man. It. I already got mine to pick. And I would like to add that this Friday is All Out War, the four year anniversary yeah, show absolutely. for ARW. Yeah. If you don't have your tickets, too bad. It's They're sold, sold out. out. Yeah. We'll be there VIP ringside. Viera, Florida. Representing the 321 group. In the TZ. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> so, uh,. All right, to finish off the uh, Mega Mania rules, we each 
Each person must choose a non-wrestler to host their event. And they must choose a non-USA location for said event. Now, when I say a non-wrestler host, that has it has to be someone that could be, you know, like a, like a real person. Like I, we was explaining earlier, you know, you can't have choose Roger Rabbit, you know, to be your 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 mega mania host. I can't pick Mickey Mouse. You could pick Mickey Mouse because people, because you know, if you go to Disney, you see Mickey on the ground. They would have to be, you know, in a mascot costume. I mean, like for that matter, you could choose the the Philly fanatic. What about Peter Griffin? No. Oh, I understand the concept then. You can't pick someone that looks like someone, but there is a physical embodiment of Mickey Mouse. You can go to Disney World. You can go to Disneyland. Right. And walk and right up you, and meet, get your picture with, shake hands, hug, well, just punch a in question. the face, whatever. Did you clarify Mickey that Mouse. the person can be deceased? No, I did not. That's a very good question. Okay. Giuseppe, they can be I'm, deceased. I'm two for two, man. They do not have to be living. <laughs> good job, buddy. So, <laughs> you're on the ball. I'm excited yeah. about the, the idea of this. I am too, man. Um... I mean, he is going to blow yours is a way. We, we, we came up with this idea. I mean, I came up with this idea. It's true. It is damn true. We started talking about it uh, a couple a couple weeks ago. So we've actually been working on our match cards. Hence the reason why we're doing this introductory video now. I'm working on um, a day two right now. Because uh, each person's match card is going to be an individual show. My card's done. So when Joey gives us his two-day event... And that will be uh, one whole show. Mine will be one whole show. Kyle's will be one. In fact, Joey's will be the first one that we reveal, which will be the next in this four-part series. We handled it like men. We picked the number. Absolutely. Yep. It was either that or rock, paper, scissors. Old C-Roy chose the number one through ten. Joey got it on the money, so he gets to... Present his match card first. That's right. I'm working on day two right now. And he's still not done. Mine is complete. All I need to do is set the lineups. You know what I'm saying? I have all the matches, all the participants. I just have to think, okay, this match will start, and then this match will come second, and then this one. That's pretty got, much all I have to do. Up. Yeah, I just have to, to uh, you know, put them in order. So how you feel so, about uh, how you feel about your 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 card you got lined up? I feel like I'm going to enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> are, out of me and Joey, whose match card are you most most looking forward to year and reveal? You're not going to hurt my feelings. Not that you care. Yeah. Well, um, not being biased, but I'd probably like to hear Joey's idea. Yeah. Uh, because he grew up in my era. Makes sense. So you guys, similar... we have more of the same type of style of thinking when it comes to the, the type of wrestlers and where they came from. Yeah. I can see that. Not that I'm not looking forward to seeing here and here. No, here. no, you, no you, you, you make a good point. You've made you it guys, quite clear. You, you put me on the spot. So you I guys, well, that was the whole point. You guys, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, you, you guys did this to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. Oh, anyway. The, there's the brain bubbles. So, yeah. That no, makes sense. Joey, I'm asking you the same question. Who's, whose match card are you? Most curious about. I'm curious about both, but I, if I had to pick That's one. Question. Uh, mother Jesus. I put Kyle on the spot. Okay. So if I had to pick, Kyle, uh, Joey's trying to slide out of you there for some reason. He just wants to. I want to hear both. Noise. I kind of feel like Kyle is going to be more like me with his card. So for that. I'm going to say, I'm curious to see what Bill's got. 
I am looking forward to your call. He's just trying not to hurt Bill's feelings. I, I didn't want to leave him out. Listen, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I really don't. To be honest with you, the one I need, <laughs> the one, the card that I want to hear the most talked about it's is yours. mine. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's not what you freaking asked us. I knew that's no, right. Who, 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 I mean, granted, now, yeah, you're getting, you know, more WCW-oriented, but you were very much, the, the, like, the anti-WCW. Yeah. Joey was That's a little great. more, back then, he wasn't, you know, he wasn't quite so, you know, just pro-WWE as, like, you were, by your own admission. Right. So that's why I'm a little curious about Joey's. That being said, though, you seem to be more knowledgeable on some of the like old old school type, you know, guys, you know, than Joey does, you know, with the, mm -hmm. the you know, the Chick J Strong Bows and you know, uh, I have a little bit of insight on them, you know, those th that era type of guys, you know, when we did the RIP Invitational, you know, you just kind of oh, I did my research, yeah, yeah. And I've heard the names. Right, exactly, and I know what exactly. But because from. of said research, did that influence, you know? So there could be. But Joey, I'm just, I don't know, I just, I'm just kind of curious on where. I think my card's pretty innovative. Where his mind is. But I'm going to be honest with you, man. I mean, I, I mean, really, if <coughs> it's, 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 you know, it's 51, you know, percent to 49%. You know what I'm saying? It's 50 and a half, 49 and a half percent. Joey over you because it couldn't get much more yeah. even because I mean I, I am equally interested and eager to hear both of you guys you know what, what, what you guys have put together but I'm really looking forward to y'all hearing mine too <laughs> alright well, well so, so guys honestly man tune into that because I I'm curious to see what they're going to put. They're curious. I'm really curious about, oh, yeah. it's going to be interesting. Bill? He just put us on the spot by trying yeah. to see what who, a jackass. who wants to see who first. But anyway, <laughs> peace <laughs> of work. <laughs> My fan, come together. <laughs> Why do I feel like you are the guy that ties people up and puts them on a railroad track? Harvey Dent. Can, Can we trust him? him? The answer is no. <laughs> well, no can we? Can. So, yes. And as always, if you haven't already, if you don't mind, please give the subscribe button the old atomic elbow. Maybe Ooh, throw a the, super kick the over like to the... the close line from hell. To that. Yeah, there you go. Close line from hell to the like button. Slap a little super kick, a little sweet chin music on that bell icon. So you don't miss when we upload these new episodes that we got coming. We, we got, got ideas coming. We got shows coming. We supposedly have, a, finally, we supposedly, we, we have in our sights a Bean Boozle Challenge coming. Absolutely. And don't, uh, don't forget, we always have the Dirty Dozen, our original yeah. show, yeah. weekly, don't. and it's still don't, cooking. Don't sleep on the dirty. Don't sleep on the dirt. So, so yes. With that being said, we will get on out to here next time on the three, two, one screw. And don't forget, folks, spay and neuter your pets. Yeah.